The National Police Service now says that activist Boniface Mwangi attempted to block Nairobi Metropolitan Service officials who claim to be KRA employees and police officers on official duty for arrest, from arresting several defaulters at the pension towers on Friday. Now, Kenyans have been reacting to the incident in which an altercation which has gone viral on social media was captured on Friday. Willie Lusige has more on that. It is this mobile short video showing activist Boniface Mwangi demanding the fully armed GSU officers and alleged KRA officials to produce their identifications after they stormed pension towers in Nairobi on a mission to arrest those who had not complied with KRA business demands, including displaying their business licenses. Uniform, see, can be no, 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 no. Bro, what you identify? After an alteration ensued between the parties, the GSU officials and the County Council of Nairobi employees seemed anger that Mwangi was filming them using his phone. After a few minutes, this video shows the lady who claimed to be a KRA official angered by Mwangi's demand to produce his work ID and only shows Nairobi city council identification few seconds later the CCTV footage shows Mwangi being chased by the GSU officers who descended on him the filmed alteration causing a pro on social media by Kenyans who demanded that action be taken against the police officers and the NMS officials but the police have come out to defend their colleagues who are involved in the drama confrontation with an activist Boniface Mwangi in Nairobi. National Police Service spokesman Bruno Shioso saying Mwangi attempted to block police officers on official duty from arresting several defaulters at the pension towers on Friday. What's an idea here from Kerry? KRA has distanced itself from the incident. Mwangi has recorded a statement at the Central Police Station as Kenyans demand for his justice. <laughs> Willy Lusige. Katie News. Let's head back to politics. The Mount Kenya Foundation has continued to receive a backlash from Deputy President William Ruto and his allies who have accused the foundation of meddling in the succession politics ahead of the 2022 election.